Hey Annabelle, can I chat with you for a sec? I've got some stuff to ask about my wedding. Sure, what's up? Shouldn't you be asking mom for help though? I mean, we never had a wedding ourselves, so I don't know how useful we'll be. Well, actually it's not directly about the wedding. It's more about the people I want to invite. Oh, gotcha. Why don't you just give me a call? It'd be easier to discuss everything that way. No, I'd rather talk to you over text. I feel like it'd be easier for me to explain that way. All right. Spill the beans then. I'm all ears. So, remember how I mentioned quitting my job because of the wedding? Yeah. You mentioned it before. And you're planning to join your husband's company after, right? The one you've always wanted to work for? It's kind of funny how you used to complain about not getting hired there. And now you've got an easy in. I know that. Well, it's actually his dad that runs the company. He just happens to be next in line when it comes to becoming the CEO. And, um, that means that this wedding will have a lot of very powerful people coming to see it. Well, I assumed that would be the case. So, well, I don't want to have to say this. It's not something I like to think about. Just get on with it already. Or better yet... Just type me a paragraph about what you have to say, all right? I'll take a look at it later. Wait one second. I'll tell you. What? Um, well, when it comes to the wedding, I don't want to invite people that don't belong there. That's what his dad is also saying. As you know, that company is very big, right? So he has to maintain a good image of his company, even at the wedding. In other words... So he's told me that he doesn't want for you or your husband to come to the wedding. Is that really something that the man that'll become your father-in-law is saying? I understand that you're going to become his son's wife and all, but I am still your older sister. And my husband is your brother-in-law. We would both really like to be at your wedding. So I'm a bit suspicious as to why your husband's dad wouldn't want for us to be there. Well, I said there will be a lot of powerful people at this wedding, a lot of elite people, so it's very important. If people who weren't very well off came to this wedding, it would probably spoil the mood for everyone else there. They might all start to think that this wedding is a joke, you know? So this is what your husband's dad told you? I would never say any of this myself. I would really like for you to be at my wedding, all right? What was that about not being well off? My husband and I are both working full time, and we tend to bring in some decent money, so I don't feel as though either of us aren't well off. But you both never went to college and you do your own thing for work, right? You guys aren't a part of any larger company or anything, especially not a massive company like my husband's dad runs. Just because we don't work for large companies doesn't mean we're automatically poor. But of course, you guys both appear to be poor based on that. From what I've heard, doing your own work as a job isn't going to really make all that much money. And since neither of you graduated from any university, that's another thing hampering your guys' image. Really, since you both have never gone through the process of job hunting, you probably don't know much about the working world. And these are all the things your husband's father is saying? That's right. Of course. I would never think things like this. I see. Then I would like to go and talk to him about my husband and I. Can you go and tell him that we'd like to meet him in person? What? You want to talk with him? Are you sure? Well, yeah, I am. I want to know why he's so against my husband and I coming to the wedding. You can't do that. If you do that, you'll only be making the situation worse. But you want for us to be there at your wedding, right? I do, but... And that's why I would like to go and see why he won't let the bride's sister and brother-in-law come to her wedding. I'm sure we can help him understand that we aren't some kind of low-life monsters. I don't want to make a huge deal of this, though. After all, this isn't just about the wedding, but my chances of working for that company. I've already left my previous company, and it would be a real shame if I wasn't able to get into the company of my dreams, right? Annabelle, please understand what I'm saying here. It's really difficult for me to ask this of you, but I can't let my chances of working for that company slip away from me. 
So you're just going to let him think your older sister and her husband are lowlifes and not fight for your family? I understand that you would still like to celebrate my marriage with me. So after the wedding is over, we will come and see you guys. By the way, you said you guys moved out of your old place, right? So I have no idea where you're living at now. It might take me a few days after the wedding, but I'll come out to see you guys in your new place, as well as pick up the wedding gifts you have for me. All right? I find it very strange that your own sister isn't allowed to come and see your wedding. And the reason we're not allowed to be there is because of what your in-laws think of me. And what they think is that because I never went to college and worked for myself, I'm poor. I'm not okay with anyone thinking things like that of me. So I need to go and have a word with him. How are you even going to talk to him? You don't even have his number or email, right? Don't worry. Your older sister will figure something out. Wait, Annabelle. You can't do that. I don't want you to make the situation into a battle for me. I'm asking you to please stop all of that. All right, Janice. I'll do my best not to make any problems out of this. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Peter. Do you have a little bit of time to spare? Yeah, of course I do. I'm assuming this is about business. I would just like to say that myself and my company are very thankful for the deal we've struck up with you. So thank you. And I'm very pleased that we were able to work out such a deal with you. My husband is very happy as well. And we think the contracts we've made will do everyone well going ahead. I love hearing that from you and your husband. I'll make sure to let my heads in the HR department know of this so they can spread the good news. Now that we've gotten that out of the way... Is there something else you'd like to talk about? If this is about some concern she might have still, I can get someone to talk with you about that right away. No worries. This has nothing to do with work. I just wanted to ask why you might think that because my husband and I both never went to college and run our own business, you think of us as lowlives? If that seems to be how you really feel about the two of us, then I'll have no other choice but to cancel those contracts we plan on having. However, I really don't want to have to do that. Hence why I wanted to confirm with you yourself about how you truly feel about my husband and I. That's why I've contacted you today, Mr. Peter. Excuse me, but what are you talking about? Your son and my little sister Janice are going to have a wedding soon, right? I'm aware they aren't even married yet, but my sister seems to think things are so well between your son and her that she calls him her husband already. I'm aware of the upcoming wedding. I was so happy to use the chance for families meeting one another as a way of starting business with you a while back, especially now that we have plans to sign an official contract and everything. Both my son and I are very thankful for the relationship he has with your sister, but the wedding is being planned to be the largest, most decadent ever thrown at the location. So I hope you're looking forward to it. And you happen to tell my sister not to invite us, as you're afraid that by having two so-called low lives at the wedding, it would ruin the atmosphere? She told you that I said that about you both? Did you not make those claims? Of course I didn't. I know that this wedding is a major event for everyone that's involved, and I'm even one of the proud sponsors of it. But I would never ask that you and your husband stay away from it. Is that so? I don't know why Janice would say that I feel that way about you two, but both myself and my family are looking forward to having you there. I'm sure your sister and your family must feel the same way, right? I don't think there should be anyone asking for you and your husband to stay away. Hearing that from you really relieved some of my stress, and that's what I was expecting to hear from you as well. But I just had to be sure. That's what you were expecting to hear as well? Well, I just never expected you, of all people, to say things like that about myself and my husband. Now, is there one more thing I can ask you before we stop talking? What's that? Well, if I were to not show up on the day of your son's wedding to Janice, would you be able to take it upon yourself to rethink letting your son marry her? Why would you ask me something like that? I'm not really sure what that all means exactly. Well, if I'm not at that wedding, and you still allow those two to get married, then I will have to rethink that contract we want so badly. Wait a second, please. What is going on here? Well, when the time comes, 
I can explain what I mean. If I told you what I meant now, then you tried to do everything in your power to stop what might happen. I would just like for us all to wait for the truth to be revealed. And from there, we can all make the correct decisions. I'm not really sure what all this means. But if you don't show up to that wedding, then I guess I'll have no choice but to cancel and take my son away from Janice for you. After all, that would be in both of our best interests, right? Correct. Now, for the time being, let's just all continue looking forward to that wedding and wish for both your son and my sister to become happily married. Annabelle, why didn't you listen to what I told you before? I talked to you before about how my father-in-law didn't want you to come to this wedding, right? You have to understand that I came here regardless of what he said, because I'm your sister. Well, so far not everyone has come here yet besides some of the family. But as time goes on, more and more of the guests will be coming. A lot of my father-in-law's shareholders and those that he considers respectable will all be coming here. Even some of his most important customers will be coming. So please, do not stick around for the rest of this wedding once it starts. Just take your husband and go. I have one thing to ask you first. You're telling me that the groom's father doesn't want either myself nor my husband here, right? I really don't want to have to tell you things like this. But he happens to see a lot of potential in this wedding as well. So yes, it is terrible for him to ask that you and your husband both stay away, but it's for the best when it comes to his company. I myself don't like the idea of having you both go because it might ruin things between our families. I really, really don't want you both leaving. I love you so much and want to make sure that we stay close to one another forever. But this is what my father-in-law wants. So you seem to love me very much? Of course I do. Are you sure? What are you trying to say? I love you and that's why I don't want to hurt you. The wedding is going to have a lot of elite people here, as well as a lot of very rich people. There's no telling what you might say to them, especially during the time after the ceremony. You might say things to people that my father-in-law doesn't want you talking to, and that's no good for him. So please, Annabelle, when people really start to pour in, would you please take your husband and leave? Janice, tell me the truth. If you tell me the truth right now, you'll be saving yourself a lot of time. Actually, let me go ahead and tell you what I think you want to say. You really want to say to me that you don't want my husband and I here. Am I correct? This isn't what your father-in-law is saying, but what you're wanting to say, right? No, this is really what he's saying about you both right now. I see. Well, then I'm going to complain to him about this right now. He's standing right in front of my eyes right now so I can make this quick. What? Right now, he's talking with the rest of the family in the changing room as everyone gets ready for your wedding. Wait a second. If you do that to me, it'll be no good for anyone. So then, what you're really trying to tell me is that it's you that doesn't want my husband and I here and not him? Hence the reason you don't want me going up to him and complaining? You're afraid that if I do, I'll learn who really doesn't want me here right now. Look, Janice. Now is your only chance to quit it with all this crap and tell me the truth. This isn't about what one person is saying about us. What are you saying? Are you seriously going to keep trying that with me? Well, I guess this is always how you've been. You've always told me what you've been wanting to say to me, but while saying it came from someone else's mouth, all so that you wouldn't look like a jerk, right? That's not true at all. What about the time you tell mom I didn't want chicken for dinner when it was really you who hated chicken? Or what about those times you told me my friends didn't want to play with me anymore when it was really you that didn't want me going out and having fun with them? You would always try making yourself look like the victim or would always try to make it seem like you were everyone's friend. I felt this kind of emotion from you for a very long time as well, Janice. That emotion, of course, being hate. I told you, you have it all wrong. You really think I haven't noticed what's going on here? I know about how you've been the one talking crap about me behind my back to everyone and how you'd sit behind bushes throwing rocks at me and then later say you saw some of my friends doing it to me. 
That's why once I graduated from high school, I immediately left the house and your bullcrap. So tell me what you really think. I never wanted for some moneyless lowlifes to come to my freaking wedding. There we go. <laughs> I knew that that was how you felt all this time. Yet you proceeded to beat around the bush for way too long. <laughs> You and your husband both never went to college and have to rely on yourselves for income now. So I don't want either of your moneyless bodies coming in and sitting with the rest of my family today. Do you not see that the rest of the people here are on completely different levels from you both? I am finally getting married into a family who is known for their massive company. In other words, I finally struck gold and will never have to worry about money again. Yet, I'm struck with embarrassment by the thought of two poor losers coming in and sitting with my family. So let me tell you right now that I don't want either you or that idiot husband of yours here any longer. So, what you're saying is that I'm an embarrassment to you and the family? That's 100% right. Has there ever been a family not embarrassed by their uneducated and poor family members before? Of course, there hasn't been one. So with that, you two uneducated and moneyless freaks, leave my wedding right now. Well then, that's it for the contract. What contract? What are you going on about? What I'm talking about right now is the contracts your husband's father company made with my husband and I. Huh? I have no idea what contract you're going on about. What's the company that your soon-to-be father-in-law runs? He runs a company dealing in food. The company happens to run a bunch of restaurants as well and supplies a bunch of other restaurants and stores with food. The company is also manufactured and still manufactures all kinds of frozen foods as well as freeze dried foods. It's the company whose food probably goes into everyone's mouth and I've been wanting to join the new department that was created to develop new kitchen appliances. All right then. And did you know that the company was planning on putting all their products into supermarkets all over the country? as well as into all sorts of gas stations and convenience stores. It's expected for that company to roll out a new way of keeping food good for longer, outside of being frozen. Did you know that that's the reason why they want to start supplying supermarkets and gas stations and convenience stores? They'll have some of the best foodstuffs ready to eat on the shelf. I know about all of that. Well, the people behind the development of that new preservation technique is none other than my husband and I. What do you mean? I never explained this to you, did I? My husband and I run a restaurant. A restaurant? And while we run this restaurant, we are also doing research on ways to preserve foods in a more healthy way. We also work in making really good dishes for dieting and such, which we serve both in our restaurant and online via recipes. We even have videos on YouTube showcasing our newest ideas in the culinary world. We don't show our faces or anything online, but many people know that our business is one of the best in the dieting world. You guys run a restaurant, do research, and run a YouTube channel? Wait, is this possibly what my husband was talking about? He was going on about this huge deal he'd be making for the company with some really popular researchers. He's even been watching their YouTube videos and recreating some of the dishes they've showcased. And for this wedding, I've been on a diet using meals from that YouTube channel. Are you both the ones behind all of that? I believe that would be us he's talking about. He knew about how we have a really successful restaurant and about how we made some new advancements in food preservation and asked if we could work together to spread the new advancement around across the US. We agreed to the big deal being made at the time, but I'm afraid that now I'm going to have to cancel all that. This is all a lie, right? I never knew a thing about the work you did. And you never asked me about any of it either. Instead, just making fun of me for never going to college and saying that that makes me poor automatically. Well, look, no single person that never goes to college should end up with a good job, right? I just assumed you worked as a part-timer and never made the kind of money a salaried worker makes. And when it comes to you and your husband, you guys never had a wedding and neither of you wear any branded clothing. It's totally normal for me to think of you both as moneyless lowlifes. Neither of us care for brand clothing, and we just chose not to have a wedding where we invited anyone. To tell you the truth, we had a private wedding with just the two of us, 
and it took place in the Maldives. The Maldives. And for our honeymoon, we traveled the world going to all sorts of places. We got to see so many cool things in Europe and Asia, as well as experience all the amazing food. You guys traveled the world together? You're making it sound like it was nothing to you both. It was nothing to us. But when you do things like that so often, it doesn't seem all that special anymore. I mean, we have to travel for our work as well, so it's become sort of this work-related thing rather than a luxury to us. Are you kidding me? You both travel that much? That must mean you both are loaded if you're able to do and say all of that. So does this mean you understand what you all misunderstood about us? Well, even if you are able to understand the people my husband and I are, we are still heading home like you asked. And I have no clue what's in store for you once your husband's dad finds out about this. What? Hold on a second. You can stay here all you want now. It was just a simple mistake on my part. And if you're saying you've made a deal with his company, that makes you a customer to him, right? If you don't stick around for the wedding day, I'll be screwed. What will everyone say if they find out I kicked you out of here? Hey, Annabelle. I'm so sorry, Annabelle. I was totally in the wrong for all of that, so please forgive me. You shouldn't be seeking my forgiveness. All I did was what you asked for, right? But after you left, things got really bad for me. My husband father went and canceled the wedding for us and was furious at me. And even my husband says he's going to rethink our marriage. I warned him about this. Also, would you stop calling him your husband? You warned him? I said that if I don't end up showing up for the whole wedding, to rethink that marriage between his son and you. Why would you do that to me? I felt bad that he never knew a thing about the real you, but I was never going to say anything that would ruin your wedding, right? I just told him that if I'm not there, then he should rethink things as well. Well, you told me not to be there, so... Would you stop blaming me for something I didn't do? Well, you should have just kept your mouth shut about you not being there as well. That was the plan. Had you never gone and kicked me out of your wedding, right? What? This is what you get for being a turd. Why did you do this to me? Right after you guys left the wedding, I had to go out to the lobby and talk to both my fiancé and his father. They both started to tear into me about how that once-in-a-lifetime deal would be ruined because of me. You did say you planned on working for that company, right? Well, you should be more aware that this company is family-based, and they all rely on telling the truth to one another about everything. If someone like you who ended up lying about what the CEO said about one of his customers being at the wedding were to join their company, it would spell trouble for the future. So I'm sure that none of them would like you in their company anymore, would they? Well, because of all that, everybody else is in the lobby. All those elites and those rich people all heard what they had to say to me. And now I'm no longer going to be hired by them. I've already left my previous company, so now there's nowhere for me to go now. Well, that's a shame for you. Why the hell did you do all of this to me? Telling him to rethink the marriage? They're now asking that I pay for the wedding's cancellation fees. This was going to be a very expensive wedding for us to show off to everyone, and now I'm going to have to pay for every penny of it. And since the wedding was canceled, all the gifts to me are gone now. Like I said, it sucks to be you. They've told me they don't want a lying employee like me to be a part of their company at all. And that's the truth. What the hell is wrong with you? It's not my fault that all the crap you've dished out is coming back to you now. So please give it up with all the complaining and leave me alone. This is your problem, is it not? You're my freaking sister. Do something to save me. Do something to make things better between my father-in-law and I. Help me get everything I lost back. I don't have time for that. I have YouTube videos to make and I have a restaurant to manage. I will apologize for everything. So please, at the very least, make that deal with their company. Please. If you do that, then I'm sure they'll rethink things regarding marriage. I'm really sorry, but I have better things to do than care about you. I mean, you're a real dick to me. So why should I bother with you at all? 
please just handle things for yourself for once. No way. You paid all that money to go to such a distinguished university, but you didn't seem to learn a thing about acting like an adult. Please, Annabelle. I promise I'll make all of this up to you. I was relying on this wedding for everything. I had to borrow loads of money for this dress and my parts of the payments. Annabelle, please just come and help me. Annabelle, please? <laughs> It turns out that Janice and her fiancé were going to hand in their marriage documents right after the wedding. So that ended up falling through. And Janice was made responsible for paying for the whole wedding. Of course, all this meant that she would not be getting hired by her fiancé's dad's company. And when she tried to go home to our mom and dad, they turned her away. This wasn't all for Janice though, as everyone that was in the lobby at the time of her getting chewed out learned the truth about what kind of person she is. And this led to a lot of people completely avoiding her. As of right now, I'm aware that Janice had to leave town and move to someplace far away from here. As for my husband and I, we decided to go through with the deal. And starting next month, our preservation technology will be used to put food into all sorts of stores and gas stations all over the US. I'm sure some of those stores are even located in whatever town my sister moved to so she'll be able to see everything went fine on our end. <laughs>